Seamus Kerwin, County You're... Offaly, and County Galway. I'm a bit of a rambler. You're a rambler? No. Stretch that triangle. Say again? I'm going to stretch my triangular shape there. And I keep turning the wheel and pulling back. Just like that. So it's a triangle that you spin from? Yeah. Well, you can do it different ways. It depends on the fleece that you're using. But and what fleece are you using here? This is a Galway fleece. That's it. And then do you walk it in? No, when I'm winding up, I just watch what happens up there now. When I reverse the wheel, it moves in on the spin. So the wheel is reversed? I cross my hand, my arm, and the wind up there. Back to the start, where you go again. watching the left hand. Always watching the left hand and keeping the triangle as a triangle. Yeah. And then you reverse the wheel. So that's... No, take that over there. I'll take that over there. Keep going. I never, I never have to look up there. I just listen for that. You listen to the spindle. Yeah, and if that's quiet, that's yeah. good. Sometimes you won't hear it now with the noise, but if I hear any clicking noise from the spindle, that's yeah. telling me there's too much pressure here. So you're pulling it too hard or too tight? Or, or yeah, or, or so yeah, there's different things. Uh, sometimes I feel the tension. It's, it's telling me there's too much tension. So I stop the wheel. I stretch my triangle. And that releases the pressure, and then I can carry on. Gotcha. Now, sometimes, um, before before any clicking starts at all, I can sometimes feel, with these two fingers here, I can feel the tension changing before it clicks. So then, but that's probably that case, called experience. Yeah, that, and sometimes what I do then is just shake my hand like that, and that will, that's really enough to release the tension. I don't have to stop at all. I can keep going. Ah, very good. that running there for a minute. Okay. Of this wheel. Yeah. When I found it. When you found this wheel, it's amazing. It looked like... Here, I won't look at your phone with the video. But right. you had to replace bits. Yeah. And you had to put that in the freezer, didn't you, for yeah, a yeah. couple of months to get rid of the woodworm. And like you, like I, you used a broom handle to do this. That's right, yeah. So, let's see. It was in bits, absolute bits. Look at that. And there's... So bit by bit then, you can see the different photos. Yes. What was left when I started to build that hub up again. Yes. And then there's some of the spindles. Yes. And this was on my kitchen floor at home, putting the trimming the spindles. Yes. And bit by bit then I put it back together. You'll see as I go along here now, start adding in the new spindles. Yes. Or the, the reconditioned old ones. And then that's just, that's all that's in that patch anyway. No, so that's excellent. That is a fantastic, it's a work of art that you managed to do and repair it to uh, working ability. The guy that I bought this off uh, just the day before I arrived had cut off the two uprights. No! And I said, oh, when I saw it, I said, oh, what should you do that for? And he said, oh, a friend of mine wants to buy it, and he wants to make a seat out of this. And then I said, oh, what should you do? No! And then I wanted to buy it off, and so I bought it for 60 euros. And put it back together oh. again. Yeah. No, it's magnificent. Well, I will one day do a better video you without the echo chamber we're in. Because we're in quite the echo chamber. And you have so many different, what are the co names of these other spinning wheels? That's a John Shields from Donegal. That's a Donegal John Shields. This is a Louette. A Louette spinning wheel. This uh, loom here, this was made by Cahill, and you can see in there the name student on the side of it. 
student. Cattle were native to the school student back in the 1970s. So it's a 1970s yeah. small loom. Now this runner board here. Yeah. I, I came across. I made up. This runner board wasn't on it. Yeah. So I have to be passing the shuttle over and back and holding it all the time. Yes. So to stop me having to do that, then I just made up this runner board. And it's one screw there and one this side. And they'll, that'll come out of there now. So it makes That's it transportable. Use. I can take this off. Just like that. Take it out. And it's ready for transporting. So there I put the... That's, that's only rubber from a draft excluder for around the window or door. Yes. I stuck that on there to keep the noise of the wheel, of the shuttle, keep the noise Of the down. shuttle down. You're an ingenious man with all your um, uses of other appl applicants. I've made other spinning wheels with... Uh, These are fantastic. ABC waste pipes. And I also made one with a kitchen chair. With a what? A kitchen chair. A kitchen chair? Yeah. I have four of them. Uh, you're, a, you're, you're a genius in the spinning wheels. I no, I don't want to look at your phone. We'll look at the spinning wheel while you're finding the page. No, they're, uh, but they're wonderful um, put together. Okay. Kitchen chair. Kitchen chair. Spinning wheel. Oh, wow. I just put the pedal in underneath there. Yes. I cut a hole through the back of the chair to allow the, the drive to go down to the pedal. Yes. The treadle, whichever you want to call it. Treadle pedal, and yes. up here I had a... Bits and bobs I had left over from different spinning wheels. Yes. So I put them in and it does exactly what it says in the tin. Fantastic. Well, Genius. The latest well, one was a bicycle wheel and PVC waste pipe. And uh, I'm just trying to get that one fine tuned, that one to get it working properly. Brilliant. No, well, I'm a huge fan. One day I want to be able to get one of those and spin with one of those. Oh, yeah, yeah. So one day, one day.